Hey everybody, this is Martin MI5 back with another video. Today's video is called Neo Incorporated. Neo is a trending stock. Facts to know before betting on it. So I'm going to read this article and I doubt it's going to change most of your guys' mind one way or the other. So let's just take a look and see what they have to say. Neo Incorporated has recently been on Zax.com list of most searched stocks. Therefore, you might want to consider some of the key factors that could influence the stock's performance in the near future. Shares of this company have returned 1.1% over the past month versus the Zacks S&P 500 composites of plus 4.5% change. The Zacks Automotive Foreign Industry, to which NEO belongs, has lost over 2% in this period. Now the key question is, where could the stock be hit in, in the near term? That's the million dollar question, right? Although media reports rumors about a significant change in the company's business prospects usually cause it to, the stock to trend and lead to an immediate price change, there's always a certain fundamental factor that ultimately drives the buy and hold decision. Earnings estimate revisions. Rather than focusing on anything else, we as Zacks prioritize evaluating the change in the company's earning projection. This is because we believe in the fair value of its stock is determined by the present value of its future stream of earnings. We essentially look at how to sell side analysts covering the stock are revising their earnings estimates to reflect the impact of the latest business trends. And if earnings estimates goes up for a company, the fair value for a stock goes up. The higher fair value than the current market price drives investors' interest in buying the stock, leading to its price moving even higher. This is why empirical research shows a strong correlation between trends in earnings, estimate revisions, and near-term stock price movements. NEO is expecting to post a loss of $0.32 cent per share for the current quarter, representing a year-over-year -year change of 13.5% plus. Over the last 30 days, Zach's consensus estimate has changed minus 2.8%. The consensus earnings estimate of minus $1.37 for the current fiscal year indicates year-over-year -year change of plus 21.7%. This estimate has changed plus 1.3% over the last 30 days. For the next fiscal year, the uh, consensus earnings estimate of negative or minus 96 cents indicates a change of plus 30.5% from what NEO is expected to report a year ago. Over the past month, the estimate has changed minus 2.7%. Having a strong externally audited track record, our proprietary stock rating tool, the Zacks Rank, offers a conclusive picture of the stock's price direction in the near term, since it's effectively harnessed the power of earnings estimate revisions. Due to the size of the recent change in consensus estimate, along with three other factors related to earnings, NEO is rated Zacks Rank number 3 hold. The chart below shows the evolution of the company's forward 12-month consensus EPS estimate. 12-month EPS projected revenue growth. While earnings growth is arguably the most superior indicator of a company's financial health, nothing happens as such if a business isn't able to grow its revenues. After all, it's nearly impossible for a company to increase its earnings for an extended period without increasing its revenues. So it's important to know a company's potential revenue growth. For NEO, the consensus sale estimate for the current quarter of $2.7 billion indicates a year-over-year -year change of plus 3.4%. 4, 3 for the current next fiscal years, $9.84 billion and $16.49 billion estimates indicate plus 26.3% and plus 67.6% changes respectively. Last reported results and surprise history. 
Neo reported revenues of $2.4 billion in the last reported quarter, representing a year-over-year change of plus 98.5%. EPS of minus $0.34 cents for the same period compares with the minus $0.51 cents a year ago. Compared to the Zach's consensus estimate of $2.35 billion, the reported revenues represent a surprise of plus 2.05%. The EPS surprise was plus 26 0.09%. Over the last four quarters, Neil surpassed consensus EPS estimates three times. The company topped consensus revenue estimates two times over this period. Valuation. Without considering a stock's valuation, no investment decision can be efficient. In predicting a stock's future price performance, it's crucial to determine whether its current price uh, correctly reflects the intrinsic value of the underlying business and the company's growth prospects. Comparing the current value of a company's valuation multiples such as its price to earnings slash uh, PE and price to sales and price to cash flow to its own historical values helps ascertain whether a stock is fairly valued, overvalued, or undervalued. Where is comparing the company relative to its peers on these parameters gives a good sense of how reasonable the stock price is. As part of the Zach Style Score System, Zach's Style Score, which evaluates both traditional and unconventional valuation metrics, organizes stocks into five groups ranging from A to F. A is better. B is better than C, and so on, making it helpful in identifying whether a stock is overvalued, rightly valued, or temporarily undervalued. NEO is graded F on this front, indicating that it is trading at a premium to its peers. Click here to see the values of some of the valuation metrics that have driven this grade. Conclusion the facts discussed here and much of the information on Zax.com might help determine whether or not it's worth worthwhile paying attention to the market buzz about NEO. However, its Zax rank number three does suggest that it may perform in line with a broader market in near term. And then they're going to ask you if you want the latest recommendations from Zax Investment Research today. You download seven best stocks for the next 30 days. Click to get this free report. Okay. So there you have it. Let's check um, what today's current price was for NEO. Let's check it out real quick. Okay, right now, as of right now, we're sitting at $5.14. It says the high was 527 and the low was 505. Okay, now let me check my Neo, my, my uh, Robinhood account real quick. Mm, yeah, it's about the same. Let's see what they say here. It says a high of 552. And a low of 505. What did the other one say? See, it's different numbers. I think Neo is counting the pre market price as well. Could be the only thing I could think of. But um, I do have a buy order that has not been filled yet. You can see it here. I placed it on October 18th. And it is quantity of 39 shares with a limit price of five dollars almost got close to getting that filled just a small entry position just to test the waters but um we're definitely gonna have to wait and see what's gonna happen so have you guys bought more neo stock have any of you guys sold Uh, how many shares do you have what's your current average cost I'd be very interested to know. And do you guys think that the the hype they're talking about is going to raise the price of the stock up? You could. So that's it for this video. 
make sure you guys like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you guys be notified of my daily uploads and i will see you in the next video